and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn and together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on a narrow boat called Nutshell and here we are. And here we are. Let us show you how the week unfolded. unfolded. <gasps> just do that, I've got to say a bit. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. Let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. When I woke up this morning, it was so foggy outside. Could barely see the fence outside. Now the fog has cleared. It's a beautiful day. Let me show you how I make my cheese and bacon turnovers. I had so many requests. You are not going to believe how easy this is. Right, here we go. Another day another thing of pastry again puff pastry half price ooh, ooh, ooh. got cheese got bacon that's all we need okay it works better if you've got two squares we've gone oblongs it doesn't matter though i'm using streaky bacon today but you can use back bacon i'm gonna lay them diagonally across Ta -da! It pays to use the best bacon you can because if you use a bacon that's got lots of water in, well, then you get a soggy bottom in your pastry and nobody wants a soggy bottom. On mine, I'm going to add a teaspoon. Oh, look at that. That's a good teaspoon. I'm going to add a big blob of chilli jam. Glenn prefers his chilli jam on the side, but that's going to be my one. Then we grate the cheese. Right. Grate some cheese on top, like so, and then all you do is you pull in one corner and then another corner. Now, if you've done a square, this will look lovely. I have now just brushed these with milk. I mean, when I say brush, I literally dipped my fingers in the milk and just went like that. They're ready to go in. There we go. About gas mark six. Sometimes I give it a sprinkle of parmesan on top. Sometimes I add a bit of mustard and a drop of mayo. Endless what you can do. They're out the oven. I'll let them burn a little bit. Me and Glenn were too busy watching YouTube videos. The cheese is like molten lava, so it's a good idea. Let them cool down before you tuck in. Here we go, Mr. Warner. It's slightly a little bit burnt, but it just makes the cheese taste better. Look at these flowers, they're still doing well. They're from Tuesday, no, Wednesday. How's it tasting? Delish. We are off for a walk. Beautiful day. Leaky paddles. Oh yeah. Rather than take my life in my own hands going over the, the locks, I'll use the bridge. We're surveying the new lock gates. No not leak. leaky, not leaky at all. Holding all that water. Yeah. Oh, there's a boat coming down. We're just powering along the towpath when Glenn spotted something in the field. Oh, there's two. We're just back at the boat, had a really nice walk. Me and Glenn were just talking about how important it is to relax. And we, we were like, yeah, we really need to relax more. And Glenn was like, yes, need to relax more. And then he said, might throw a bucket of water over the car. I was like, Glenn, you just said you were supposed to be relaxing. We've got a delicious dinner tonight, that's for sure. Two salmon on croute. Is that the way you say it? On croute? I think so. Tender Scottish salmon fillet with a rich sauce made from cheddar cheese oh, and sparkling white wine wrapped in pastry. Well, you know I like anything wrapped in pastry. All right, they're going in 26 minutes. Glenn just accidentally smashed my glass. Things are not going well this evening. I've got a very bad head. The glass is smashed and I've got to do some work later tonight. Righty, creme brulees. We stick these under the grill. Under they go. Man, they're looking good. Good morning. 
on in and welcome to Monday. Glenn's got a funeral to do today. I'm going to go with him. Obviously not with him, but I'm going to sit in the car because afterwards we're going to go to the office and while we're in Northampton, we're going to drop Leo's birthday present and card off. Uh, also for this morning, I have a little bit of pastry. Mr. Warner's <laughs> Just in my shop there. Hard to move about. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little bit of pastry that needs using and some sausages. Mr. Warner's feeling a bit ropey from overindulging with pastry products yesterday and mashed potato last night. None of those make him feel good. So we've run out of the apple sauce that I put in, and I was just wondering if I could put anything else in there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I can find. Maybe I'll do a mixture. Maybe I'll do some that are just plain, but some with a twist. Four little normal sausage rolls for Glenn. You know me, I'm not normal. I'm going to stick in some plum and apple chutney. I'm sure it's going to taste good. Where did I get this from? I'm not sure where I got that from. I think I bought this from Aldi. Right, there we go. Four normal and four with plum and apple chutney in those beauties go oh look at these beauties all right let's go it is much colder outside than it looks it's a bit of a shock to the system after the lovely sunny weather right that's that done mr warner yeah so we're now off to northampton to the office and then hopefully we'll be able to drop Leo's card off we might be able to see him obviously socially distanced but uh, so we can give him his birthday card Ooh. so we're here at the office we haven't got masses amount to do he's got uh, some orders to dispatch the cafe is still shut here so we're having to resort into making our own Glenn's just gone to pick up the post oh new maps for, for the car what is it Glenn you don't know do you you can't remember just come open from, it. It's come from far away. It's come from far away. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, so oh are these exciting? No, oh, that's not exciting. Not exciting Glenn. for you, no. That is not exciting. What is that? My fluke meter, which is my. <laughs> Does that, <laughs> is, is that to work out how fluky you are? No. <laughs> the fluke meter, no. My, when I went to Vodafone, so when yeah. was that, 1997? Yes. My, as an engineer, I was, oh, I'll take this off, let's see. I was given a, a, a voltmeter, which we right. used all the time. Now, I've never changed the battery in my voltmeter, and I use it all the time. But right. the leads got really knackered. They were uh, falling apart, and I was using screws with clips and all that. So I treated myself to oh. some new leads. Happy days. Or new, new, and these as well. I did a quick Google, do you know how much those fluke meters are? No. Even today, second hand, yeah. 150 quid. Really? Yeah. Well, Glenn, I'm excited that's, for you. That's value for money. Yeah, that is, that is. Per use. We finished at the office. We are now going to drop Leo's birthday present off. I hope we can see him. Even if we can just see him from his front door and we can wave, that would be good. Leo had the most extraordinary looking birthday cake. I looked at it and I was like, oh, that is lovely. But of course, because there's no like birthday party or anything, they've got too much cake. So apparently when we drop Leo's present off, we can pick up some cake to take home. Oh, hello, my darling. Happy birthday. How old are you, 29? <laughs> wow, that is a whopper. Look, Look at that. Right, we're just at the shop. Gonna drop off. Deb's card. Hopefully they're the last two lockdown birthdays. Well, actually, that's a lie. We've got your Evie. mum's on the 13th, Evie on the 22nd, oh no, we've got loads more birthdays, and my mum on the 8th of April. So maybe we've got a few more lockdown birthdays to go, but anyway. Maybe we can go to your mum's. Yeah, let's get going. We've got a cup of tea and a slice of cake to eat. You know, driving up to the boat, don't get old. I I appreciate it every single time. Yeah. There you go. Dig in. 
<laughs> We've just had a very stressy half an hour. The engine room chat is going live in 20 minutes. My computer, that's been a bit te temperamental all day, it's just said I'm not doing it. Uh, the screen went blank, there was nothing there. So then we tried to um, set it up on Glenn's computer, which is like, you know, you have to like turn the handle and everything. We had to crank it up. We got into the, the software and then like Glenn looked all like misty and, and vacant because oh, his like camera was, was so rubbish. We then set up the other Mac which is like virtually brand new, ha didn't have the right software. So, I mean, it's all been stressing, but that's not the worst of it. While I was faffing around with all that, I forgot the new episode of Vloggle launched like 40 minutes ago. It's, it's one of those evenings. Oh, you're out of focus. Or is it my eyes? Who knows? Um, That's engine chat done. Glenn, Jeff and Dave did a great job, especially because the chat wasn't working our end, but never mind. Anyway, it's now eight o'clock and because we were faffing about with computers, um, we haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to knock up a super quick chicken curry. This isn't one of those curries that's going to be simmering for ages with a complex load of herbs and spices. Basically, one onion, one garlic clove, couple of chicken breasts just fried those <clears throat> just added some mild does that say mild oh that says hot i thought that was mild curry powder oh oh i don't think it is going to be hot because i've added bloody hell i've oh, boy it said mild that's because i didn't have my glasses on i've added a small tin of coconut cream just gonna let that simmer for a bit Oh, I'm a bit nervous about tasting it now. It's got a bit of a kick to it. It's all right, though, because we've got a little bit of Greek yoghurt. I'll sprinkle it on the top. It'll be fine. Good morning to you. It's like almost 12 o'clock and I haven't said good morning. For that, I do apologise. I just looked out the window and I was like, my car's gone. And then I saw Mr Warner's hoovering it out. Oh, I love a clean car. So far today, I've... Had a couple of phone calls, done some work, done my video editing and cleaned the bathroom. Oh, and had a shower and dried my hair. So, not doing too bad today. For the rest of the day, I'm just pottering. Just pottering around. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to enter the toilet, get rid of, get rid of the recycling because there's a lot of that again. And then I'm going to Leighton Buzzer to get a soap for dinner tonight. What are you going to get? I don't know yet. Where are you going to go? What yet. are you going to get? Do you know, the good news is we've got HelloFresh tomorrow. Yeah, I know, so it's only tonight. Yeah. So Are you going to get something delicious? Mm, I'll see what I can find. You know, it really is cold today. Nothing like the gorgeous warm weather we had at the weekend. But look, look at these. I don't know if you can see. Yep, all the leaves. We This tree is full of buds. It's not going to be long. Till this tree explodes in leaves. Look how sorry my herb box looks. That looks pitiful, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to redo that. The little daffs look lovely. I definitely need to go for a walk. My concentration has gone down. It's gone down to about that now. That happens when I sit in front of my computer for too long. Go and walk to Slapton and listen to a podcast. You know the routine. It's proper cold out here. Definitely needed gloves and uh, maybe even a woolly hat. Anyway, come on, let's keep going. As you can see, the path is a little bit muddy, but man, this is nothing compared to what it was. I've only got one of my walking sticks today. Mr. Warner. I've unpacked it, so I thought you'd just done it. What deliciousness. I've got, I've, got, I've got kitchen roll and bin bags. Well, oh. The bin bags we're using are not big enough for the bin. You buy all the exciting stuff. There's a Marks and Spencer's shop. Some green greens. I can't see what. I mean, it's green vegetables. I can't see what. I haven't got the glasses on. Oh. Beef bourbon. 
That looks tasty. What else we got in here? Oh, I love a delicious food shop. When there's nothing else going on in the world, then delicious food shop is all we've got at the moment. Potato, daffy noir. That go right with the big, big It'll thing. go lovely, Glenn. It'll go lovely. Then, sticky toffee pudding. Everyone loves a sticky toffee pudding. And some double cream. That's a good buy by Mr. Warner. <gasps> what else is in here? Oh, yes. Two custard shoe buns. Mm -mm -mm. No custards. When are these for, Glenn? Whenever we want them. Whenever. And some Greek yogurt. Oh, not a bad shop at all. Well done, Mr. Warner. I'll give him a good 9 out of 10 for that. Man, this looks and smells tasty. I just said to Glenn, what's that like? And we're like, is it someone on the towpath or is it a boat coming down? No, it's a boat. I think it's someone on the towpath. <laughs> that is a super bright light, though, isn't that? Boat or bike? What boat, do we reckon? Boat. I'm going with boat. Really? It's too far. It's not. It's too far in the middle. I'm not sure. Well, let's see. When it gets closer, it is a boat. Would you believe it? Not even going along the canal at night is perfectly fine, and a lot of people love nighttime cruising. Wow, weren't expecting a boat coming yeah. along. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Wednesday. It is a mum day. Yes, it is. We're going to my mum's, and you know what that means, don't you? Fish and chip lunch. Oh, yes. One of the highlights of my week. Obviously, seeing my mum, not just the fish and chips. We are leaving a bit early today because, Mr Warner, tell us what you've purchased. I haven't purchased anything. I've been given. It's a gift. A gift? It's a gift. It's free, yeah. It's, it's, it's our Hoover's falling apart. As in, it's rattled itself to death, pretty much. And um, there's one, there's a lady that's got one in Aylesbury, and hers doesn't work. Yeah. Um, and she's given it away for me. So. So, so are you gonna, I'm gonna take, take that the two. and between the two <laughs> broken ones, make one good one? Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. Okay, let's go. Oh, new mats, Mr. Warner. It's a very grey day. There's a community cafe just there, which hasn't been open obviously in lockdown. And we noticed at the weekend it had opened for takeaways. So we can't wait to try it out. You know how much we like a good cafe. It's so it's yeah, it's within walking distance of the boat. So we can't wait to try that out. Mr. Warner has picked up the other non-working hoover so we now have to come show me your robot it's a robot wow <laughs> when we can when restaurants and pubs and all that are open where would be the first restaurant stroke Ooh. meal you that's a good one. I don't know, I'm going to have to think about that. Do you know where you'd like to go? Or are you going to... No, it'd probably be the Colin Tree, but no, no, I don't know. I don't know Let that. me think about that one. Hi, Mum. I have just had a fabulous idea. Oh, we were just driving along in the car and I thought, I need a challenge. I need a challenge, something to aim for. And then I remembered that our friend Carolyn, who works for Medical Detection Dogs, said that they're doing a walking marathon fundraising in June. And I was like, oh, at the moment I can walk four miles at a push. I used to be able to walk a lot further. It's the 19th of June. So we're right at the beginning of March. So I've got March, I've got April, I've got May and a bit of June. Do you reckon I could do it? I think I could. Here we go, here we go. It's a marathon distance challenge. Um, trek along the iconic River Thames and the Ridgeway. 
national trials. Oh, I reckon I could do this. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? Shall I press the button? Oh, oh let's do it. it. <laughs> let's do it. I've, I've only gone and done it. Oh, yes, I have. Look. Can you see that? It says, congratulations, Lisa. 107 days to go until I walk a marathon for medical detection dogs. Oh my goodness, what have I done? No queue outside the fish and chip shop today. It's good timing. Oh, wow, I've just come in. They do deep fried chocolate. Shall I give it a go? Yeah, let's do it. Mars bar, it's got to be done. So I'm very excited about trying the uh, the chocolate fried Mars bar. The lady in the shop said it is best hot. Let's give it a go. <laughs> so mum's just had a bit. She said it was yummy. You take, just take a bit. Oh, it's gooey. Man, that is so good. <laughs> Big thumbs up to chocolate fried Mars bars. Just got in. Let us have a look what's in the Hello Fresh box. Oh, I've missed Hello Fresh. The reason I haven't taken my coat off, I'm going out for a walk and I'm going to try and walk a bit further than normal. So normally I go down to Slackton and back. If I'm going to walk 26 miles, I need more practice than that. Right. Let's have a look. Pork and apple burger. I like that one. Ooh, haven't had this before. Barbecue sausage skewers. Nice. Oh, it's a bit heavy on the sausages. Honey mustard sausages. Beef Rogan Josh style curry. Ooh, I like a good curry. And thyme roast chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Right. I was thinking on the way home that maybe it would be easier for me to walk 26 miles if I didn't weigh so much. So I may, may cut back on the cake. May do. Says the person that tried a deep fried Mars bar at lunchtime. So Hoover just picked up for free from Aylesbury. Yeah. Um, that's the battery that was in it. Yeah. This is a battery from Az. Yeah. Sure can suck. It was just the battery. Me the charger. Anyway, Mr. Warner, I'm going to leave you sorting the Hoover out and I'm going for a walk. Yeah, okay. Typical, Actually, yeah, just going out for a walk starts to rain. Anyway, I'm going to leave the camera here with Mr. Warner and he can entertain you. So, Mrs. Warner's gone out for a walk. I have got to do a quote and an order for a customer, which is amazing. I don't know if anyone knows what I actually do generally for a living. I, um, I'm a, I do promotional gifts um, for companies, so branded clothing, branded uh, you know various different things i'm sort of the middleman that connects everything together and makes it up and i used to um have my own business which i sold mm -hmm. six seven years ago and now i just do an odd few customers that came back to me asking me to to deal with them i was doing probably on average i don't know four or five orders a day since lockdown i've done four orders in a year everything i did just stopped and i've just had my first one of um 2021 so uh, i sort of have to remember how to do it all just did a quick quote quote for them they've already said they want it so it'll be the same price as last year away we go oh my life it's pouring with rain the towpath is muddy i don't know if you can see it's a muddy mess i've just nearly done the splits literally one leg went that way the other went that way thank goodness i had my pole i was clinging hold of it Oh man, I need to slow down. What a way to start my campaign to my 26 mile walk, man. Anyway, I'm soaking wet. Let's get back to the boat. So my new Hoover works a treat, just giving it a run round. Well, I'm in and that was 3.9 miles. I'm soaking wet. Nearly fell over twice. I was saved by that walking pole. Had I have not had that, it would have been game over twice anyway 
that done, I'm going to take my coat off, dry off, and think about cooking some dinner. It's razzing down the rain outside, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the car up to the end, not because I have to, but because I think if if it's, it's due to rain all the way through to five o'clock in the morning, which is going to make this grass really soggy again, and obviously I don't want to get stuck here. All right, let's take the little car down the end. This will get muddy very quickly. We've decided to not have HelloFresh tonight because we're not that hungry. So got some sausages left over and I'm going to make a sausage and Omelet. cheese omelette. I've got some halloumi actually that needs using. So halloumi, some sausage, some eggs, some cheese. Delicious. And also we got pudding from yesterday, from yesterday that we didn't eat and we want to make sure we've got enough room for pudding. On top of the omelette before I put it under the grill I'm going to add some of this because you know this is this week's favourite. I don't know what it's going to taste like but I think it's going to work. Right so that's the sausages and some cheese and some egg and then on top of that I'm going to put the halloumi. This needs using so it's perhaps a bit more than I'd normally add but it's no point sitting in the fridge going off. So I've added that and now I'm going to stick it all under the grill. Here we go, let's see, is it a taste sensation? I've just got to say, the chutney on the omelette, game changer. Tasted good didn't it? It did. Sometimes omelettes can just be a bit boring. Anyway, tell you what's not boring, sticky toffee pudding. Hello, good morning and welcome to Thursday. It's a busy work day. I've got three calls basically 10 10 30 11 it's gonna take me till lunchtime i'll check back in with you then that has been a busy morning i am talked out i haven't had any breakfast my mum gave me some ready-made pancakes i've never had ready-made pancakes before so i'm gonna get the frying pan out heat them up maray burns heat through both sides in a small amount of butter oh let's do that oh Okay. Ooh. I was so determined to make today not about eating food. The last few videos have just seemed to be a complete eatathon. Hold on, let me try and get this out of the pan. It's freezing. Mr. Warner has returned with some coffee logs. Yeah, I went to the Morrison's garage. Because it's got so cold again and it's going to get colder. I've been cracking through the logs, so I'm going to split this other bag that I've got left and get it put inside to dry out. It's about half past four. I have been working all day and I gave up on my standing desk, so I've been sitting down for hours. I need to get out for a walk. I'm a little bit nervous about the amount of mud out there the rain last night hasn't been kind to the towpath the mud is like it's like walking on ice it is like a thin slippery layer i'm just taking it slowly i don't want to fall over i'm giving up on this path it's just too slippy gonna go back it's that time of day again oh yes I've had nothing but pancakes all day, so I need some proper food. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. Barbecue sausage skewers with cheesy chips. Let's do it. Tonight's beverage of choice, a bit of Pinot. Right, what we got in here? I've actually got a spare pepper as well that I bought the other week and didn't use. So I'm gonna double up on the peppers. Right, potato wedges are in the oven and I've done the sausage skewers, so they're going in the oven too. Oh man, this looks good. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Oh yes, it's looking after grandchildren day to day. Well, for me anyway. Glenn is going to go to the office. I have been up early this morning. 
I've finished watching Narrowboat Vlogs, done the voice recording for Vloggle, sent that over to Samuel who, who's gonna do the editing on that one. Oh, I've got to say, I'm gonna take sequence. I think Ryan's gonna like this, so I'm gonna teach him how to play this. I forgot to say, this is the last time I'm looking after the kids on a Friday. They go back to school on a Monday. I know Nam is very happy about that. I'm feeling a little bit sad about that. But anyway, I'll make the most of today. I've just heard from Naomi. They don't need me today because Mark's not at work today. I'm a little bit sad about that. But we're up. We're on our way to Northampton now anyway. But it does mean we can stop at McDonald's for breakfast because we're not rushing. So, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. I've had to go back to my welly boots. Path's too muddy to wear my normal shoes. Oh, I up, I up. What's happening? Oh. So we've arrived at McDonald's and the drive through was shut because there's a crane and they're doing something. Uh, Glenn's got to go in and order. Coffee, hash browns, or as Oliver calls them, giant nuggets. Yum. We just picked up an order from the printers. Off to the office to dispatch it now. Right, here we go. Let's go do some work. Just checking in on my ancestry. They've received my DNA and they're processing the sample. Oh, I'm so excited. So, Glenn has just found, while going through a box of old stuff, a video camera that used to be ours from years and years ago. Well, even in the 1990s, I fancy being a vlogger before there was even a thing called vlogging. Now, you may be wondering how come we have kept hold of this when we got rid of all of our stuff. I gave it to my dad. <laughs> Glenn actually gave that camera to his dad and Glenn was just going through some things of his dad's and the camera was in there. I'll tell you what else is exciting. Yes, uh, you know I'm walking this marathon on the 19th of June for medical detection dogs. Well, I've only just gone and persuaded Hayley and Chloe to do it with me. I'm trying to persuade Naomi, but she's not up for it. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited about that. Oh, look at those. Is there any way that we can play them? Yeah, yeah. it's got all the leads plugged into a tally. Look at that technology. Can you not play it from there? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That was Harry. He did that for his birthday, didn't he? Mm. This is a, as a video. Oh, that was us when we were camping. We used to camp with other mm, families. More, more, there was like families. massive groups of us. This is two of our children. I can't see who. This was a place called Tewkesbury. We went there a couple of times. The kids loved it. I keep trying to touch the screen to fast forward, it does nothing. So, good afternoon to you. A busy day of work. Well, when I say day, I mean, it's like, it's not 2.30 yet. We did start early today. We did. We are now going back to the printers to pick up an order that wasn't ready earlier. And we've got to drop some stuff off at the shop. And then we'll be heading back. Glenn just dropped something off at the flower shop for Deb and while he was in there I went into Tesco's and you'll never guess what I've, I've brought. <laughs> you know the Cadbury Scream Eggs that I love? Well, they've only gone and done some Reese's ones so peanut butter in there. They were doing 50p each or three for a pound. So I thought we could have three one for each. Three for a pound and a yeah. yeah. It is so cold out there, like bitter. I think it's forecast to be minus two tonight, but the wind is freezing. I was gonna go out for a walk. I just don't want to, I just don't want to. Mr. Warner's feeling the bird contains that. They're all empty actually, all of them, look. That's because they're hungry, bless them. Because it's so cold out there. And what's for dinner? It's Friday, isn't it? Burger, burger, burger. 
we got some pork mint, some rosemary, some buns, some breadcrumbs, some apple and sage jelly, a lemon, an apple. Oh, this wasn't the one where we had to chop the apple and put it in the salad, is it? No, this is the one where we grate the apple and we put it in the burger. Phew, I didn't like that one. Uh, some potatoes, some rocket, right, let's go. Oh, these burgers are looking good. Wow, this is looking delicious. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. It is 20 past 10 and I am making a start on my marathon training. Oh, oh it's gonna be a long walk. Um, not today, I'm building myself up gradually. So, I'm leaving the boat, I'm heading that way down the canal and I'm hoping to get to Marsworth. I think it's about four miles um, and that's where I'm heading. I'm hoping the towpath's not gonna be too muddy. I've downloaded a new audio book so I've got something good to listen to. Mr Warner, he's staying here, he's gonna do some DIY jobs. So, come on, let's go. Towpath isn't too bad today. Certainly plenty of water. Welcome to Saturday. Mrs Warner's gone off for a walk. It's a little bit windy out here. I started to paint the shed. I'm going to do the front today. See how it looks. I think the colour's a little bit light, but we'll see how Mrs. what Mrs Warner thinks of it when she comes back later. The sun is out, it's beautiful. I'm now wishing I didn't bring me a big coat. You need to get used to trains going by if you're more here. So, there's another couple of locks behind me. I'm not sure which ones these are. So, let's go and have a look. Two locks and a boat coming down in the furthest one. Seen quite a few boats on the move today. Marsworth number 37. So here we are at Marsworth. Beautiful cottages over there, one for sale. Lovely thatched cottage there too. So I've made it to Marsworth. This is where we come and use the facilities here. Let's have a look down this path. So this is the Aylesbury Arm and there's 19 locks in total from top to bottom that includes one staircase lock it can get a little weedy down here so what we're planning is as soon as the canal opens up again and we're okay to travel we're actually going to come down the Ellsbury Arm more at the bottom by Waitrose and the theatre and then come back up we'll be pointing in the right direction and then we will continue on for another little journey. Oh, the Ellsbury Arm isn't very inviting for walkers at the moment. I'm going to turn around. Right, I made it back before Glen, so I'll wait here for him. Oh, look at the reflections. I'm not 100% sure I like it because it's made out of rough wood. I think it, it exaggerates the wood and you can see the gaps and the broken bits. I haven't done this side yet but you see what I mean this just looks like overlapping wood. Looks right from the front though. I don't know I see what Mrs Warner thinks anyway I've got to go and pick her up and take the rubbish. Here's Mr Warner. This that looks like a toilet waste tank. <sighs> That's all boat jobs done. Heading back with a second coat, that looked lovely. I really like the colour. There you go, another lockdown week. It was mainly dull, but there was interesting bits. The most interesting bit was where I decided to do a marathon. Oh. Last time she walked 50k, she said to me, don't let me ever do that again, because she was fairly broken. I was, I was. probably, what, six, seven years ago? A few, good few years ago. <clears throat> so... so she, was a, she was a bit more sprightly. I was. Years ago, not only did I, I do a 50k walk, but I've also climbed Ben Nevis as well. I was much younger then. Uh, now, I can't. I was like, four miles is about my limit now, which is like nowhere near. So I wanted a good challenge. And I am so excited that I'm not going to be doing this on my own. I am so excited that Hayley and Chloe are going to join me. Basically, she's 
managed to mug somebody else into doing it. I did. I, I did. I did. I was like, please do it with me. I think they just felt sorry for me. No, I am super, super, super excited. I'm to say that both of those people are very much younger than you. <laughs> That's okay, Glenn. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. The great thing is, is that you can come with me when I'm doing all the training and we can do the marathon together. I mean, admittedly, you'll be watching and I'll be doing, but well, it's something to look forward to, isn't it? Hun just over 100 days, something like 104 days. Soon come round. Soon come round. And boy, I hope yeah. I'm fitter by in 104 days. And um, also, because I've noted that it may be easier the less weight I'm carrying, yeah. I am going to cut down on the cake. She's only going for light, fluffy cake now. Yeah, light cakes yeah, that, like, don't, like, that, that won't weigh me down. Meringues. Yeah. <laughs> So, Nothing too heavy. We've got another lockdown week ahead of us, but it is coming <clears> to <throat> an end. It is coming it's to an end. I think they're relaxing a little bit. It's good. The kids go back to school Monday. They do. And from Monday, I, I think, I need double to double check, check but I think one person can meet with another person. Without having to be exercising. Yes. Yeah, so, sit on a bench or something. So basically, I can go down Miramar's for a cup of tea. So I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Outside, that's all. Yeah, outside, not inside. Mm. It's okay, we've got umbrellas and coats, it's fine. Next week, there's also lots going on. You've got a couple of funerals to do, haven't you? Friday. Friday. Two on the same day. Yeah, and it's, it's a... Mother's Day weekend, next weekend, and we know that's all hands to the deck. Also, it's your mum's birthday. And it's not just your mum's birthday. It's not. Jennifer got in touch and it's Ron's birthday on the 13th as Is well it? and she said could we say hello to Ron so hello Ron and happy birthday the 13th you share it with my mother happy, happy birthday. birthday hope you have a fabulous and day on a Saturday yeah excellent perfect day. Saturday is a great day for a birthday we and still I haven't got the van back oh yeah so we've actually had to book another van we've booked a van just in case for Mother's uh, Day. For Mother's Day, because yeah. we, we, we need an extra day, so we've got a big free metre van, because they didn't have anything smaller. Fingers crossed the van is fixed in time. I think that's it for this week. Is that everything I've got <clears throat> to tell you? Yeah. I think so. Oh, I, I know, there's just something to tag on the end. Me, Chloe and Hayley, we will be raising money for medical detection dogs. I'll stick a link in the comments below the, those dogs are amazing they can they can detect cancers, mm, cancers and, and all sorts of illnesses, illnesses and yeah. stuff amazing charity yeah, no, no, doing good carrying, stuff so, so anyway you're going to hear lots about that while i'm training so we'll save some of that news uh till next week thank you everyone for watching subscribing we've just tipped over <gasps> the 2000 subscribers which yes, is amazing <clears throat> our um our growth is is is, is what they call slow and steady thank you uh, we really do appreciate it every single view every single comment every single every single person that watches so thank you good remembering there mr warner yeah, yeah. anyway we will leave you to it and we'll see you next week we'll see you next week take care bye, bye.